Hey everyone, so just a quick cancer update for everyone. Uh, surprise, I still have it. It didn't just like jump out of my body. I kind of wish it would, but it's not how it works. So last week was a big week. I went in for a PET scan. It's like a CT scan, but for cancer patients, they shoot a bunch of radiation into your uh, blood, well, into your veins, and it's a combination of radiation and sugar. Apparently, cancer cells love sugar. So you sit there for an hour while this juice makes its way through your body, and then they put you into a onto a table with a bunch of fancy cameras, and uh, it scans your body. And they did from my neck all the way to my thighs. Uh, and I lit up like a Christmas tree, which is bad. That means the lymphoma is everywhere. Uh, in fact, it's completely taken over my spleen. Now the spleen is not in a, an essential organ, uh, which is a good thing. So my spleen doesn't do spleen things anymore. It's basically a big tumor now because the lymphoma has metastasized, which is not good. So they haven't told me that my spleen's coming out, but I'm pretty sure my spleen's coming out. So after the PET scan, uh, I had surgery on Friday. The doctor went in and removed a lymph node out of my armpit and we're waiting for biopsy results. Those should be back uh, any time between Wednesday and Friday. Uh, and that's, that's like a big deal. So we're waiting on the, the oncologist to call me and say the biopsy results are in. Um, once the results are in, I have an actual diagnosis and a treatment plan. Um, I don't think that this is going to be something that will unalive me. This is very likely going to be treatable. It'll be difficult, but it's treatable. Um, I have no energy for anything. Like, taking a shower, going to the bathroom, microwaving, you know, <laughs> a dinner from, uh, from Trader Joe's. Like, these are all things that have become hard for me, which is kind of sad. Uh, and I've lost a ton of weight. I'm thinner now than I have been uh, at any time as, as an adult. So it's, it's scary, but I'm not unalive. I'm still alive. Mostly playing Xbox and watching TV and just waiting for the oncologist to call. So as more things happen, I'll keep everyone updated. Um, Everyone has been so kind to both myself and Ashina because uh, this is its not easy. I've never had cancer and she has never been married to someone with cancer, but uh, we're working through it. Have a good day, everybody.